Guys, Dallas here from Dunn & Watson. Uh, just the last day of the Let's Go Caravanning show. We've got a bit of time, so I thought I'd give a walkthrough of our original trailer that we built for the toy hauler that you'll just see to the left there. So, uh, this one is essentially our tour tray and one of our canopies, and we've uh, just put it together into a, a functional off-road trailer. So, start at the top. We've got the top there, it's been fitted with 360 watts of solar. Up the front, we've got one or two pull out trays on 125 kilo slides. So, get a hand storage up high. Big sucker down low. So, so we've got Barbie and Jenny in that, you can put anything you want on it though. We've got in house made stone guards with your gas bottles and jerrys. One of four double tapered toolboxes that we make. It's no different than what you'd get on a tray build. The idea behind these is that, um, especially from the rear, uh, it shows what one of our tray and canopies would be like. So if you come to a shop and the cars aren't there, uh, you can still see everything being, being modular products. You can still come see it in the flesh and, and more or less see what it would look like on a car. It's just been put on a trailer. So on ours we fit like big fridges from ARB. BPS 95 from MSA, nice and handy. So in this trailer, we've actually been managed to squeeze a 100 litre fridge in, which is great. Obviously, you don't always get that in these compact trailers. Shelving above it again. Obviously, it's been filled with Dunham Watson Pentrol seals, Dunham Watson gas struts, Dunham Watson wild towels. So uh, use all our hardware in these builds. So this is one of our dual draw kitchen stations. Slam it shut. So stacks of storage in this thing, the bench again. So if I was standing by my fridge, I've obviously got the bench. That bench can work independent from that drawer. Quite handy. Obviously we've got our jumbo pantry here as well. So as far as uh, carrying food and other things, you can comfortably do that in this. Obviously it's got one of the Dunham Watson switchboards up high. It's the N-Drive DC to DC. You've got the N-Drive 2000 watt inverter there. We're fitted with 360 spread of lights. We've got a shower awning here, swing away arm. We're fitted with one of our, like everything else, modular hot water system boxes. So we've got the dual curb, but it'll work on anything. That's why we shower it. Obviously, you've got your ladder pins here to get into the motor top. Ours is from the rear, but various setups you can come from the sides if you like. There's another one of our struts there in the weather all day, every day, still going strong. Around this side, Obviously you've got another pair of the double tapered boxes, so just these four boxes alone equals a lot of storage, but this side we've put no drawers, this is our bulk storage, this is our power station, so you've got the 125 amp lithium, the battery charger, just get to it from this gate if you have to, otherwise it's nice and safe in here when we're throwing all our bags in, a pie oven, a telly, good bit of storage there, a bit below, this is one of our make them in Brisbane, so some storage bags there out of Aussie Canvas. Front here, got another little tray for storage. This one has the Cruise Master independent suspension. And we've actually managed to fit, I'm not sure if you can see under here. We've actually managed to fit, so there's the suspension. That's one of our tanks. That's the other one up there, so got about 190 litres of water in this. So, stacks of solar, stacks of power, stacks of water, heaps of storage, so we're very happy with how this turned out. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, give us a call or flick us an email.